and I'm really excited to bring him to the stage. He's newer to EXP. He's still getting his EXP legs under him, um, but he's already brought on a ton of people, which has been so exciting. He's been super influential since he's come on board. So Lars has been in the business for a long time. Okay, again, top sales agent. He took over, started running offices. He has built and grown real estate offices. He's been in the recruiting side of things and the leadership side of things. But one day, he's like Nostradamus. <laughs> he, he looked around because he was managing bricks and mortar. Big bricks. Some of the, you know, Vincent mentioned some of these companies, right? He's managing bricks and mortar, and he's like, this is a dying breed. And he started planning his escape. <laughs> so we've had a chance. Lars saw what was happening in the industry, and he's coming over. Guys, I can't wait for you to hear his story and what he's been building and growing in his perspective. Please help me welcome to the stage, Lars Hendrickson. All right. Thank you so much. Um, it's so exciting to be here with all of you. You guys learning some things today? Yeah, so um, I've learned a couple of things. One is um, at about 10 o'clock this morning, I drove up from Virginia, um, at, left about 5 o'clock in the morning, got up here, and I learned that, uh, number one, my two-hour presentation, I had to condense into 10 minutes. So, uh, so that was a big surprise. And then the, the second one was I had to follow Frank. And so uh, that's, that's a big, big hill to climb. So what I want to do is go over uh, the 10 things that I want you to know about agent attraction. So let me hear you if you're here to learn about agent attraction. Okay, good, good. So thank you. So I'm going to give you 10 things. I want you to write these down because they're very powerful. And these are the things that I've been learning, not just with EXP. This is what you need to do in order to build a team. And that's why I joined EXP, is to help my friends in the business with their business and also an exit strategy so that one day they can actually retire. How many of you like that? So, so the first tip of 10, write, write these down, is you've got to make the decision that you are into agent attraction and you will change your identity from maybe just being a great agent to being a great agent attractor. This, folks, this is one of the most powerful things you can ever do with your life. The decision to be a great spouse, a great parent, a great agent, that's up to you. And if you're reading our book of the month, who knows what it is for EXP? Atomic Habits. Y'all reading that? You should. So he talks a lot about you need to change your identity. You have to see yourself and become that person. So you may want to be an agent attractor. Folks, you've got to change that identity. Make that decision. That decision will help propel you forward towards your goal. The second, the second very important uh, tip I want to share with you is you've got to have goals. So start with yourself first, inside out. Start with your identity and then write down some goals. So I'll give you some ideas. Your, first, your next 12 months, if you just bring in five more people into your organization as business partners, so you have five more people on your first level, and you help each one of them just bring two, that's five on your first level, 10 on your second. If everybody sells in my market four or five houses, then you'll hit your full revenue share. And at the old model, the Rev 1.0, uh, that works out to be about $46,000 more a year. Okay, that's not including the, the $4,000 in your first 12 months. So that's just with five and 10 on your first two levels. If you double that, your income doubles, your revenue share, your, that revenue stream will double to about $92,000 a year. That's over $7,800 a month on average. Okay, now what I, what I share with my team that are the agent attractors, the builders, set a goal of number of contacts a day. So my goal is to talk to two new people every day. That's five days a week, that's 10 a week. If I work 48 weeks out of the year, that's 480 new contacts that I can make. So, uh, so have those goals in mind. The third is... Uh, to create a list. Now, how many of you have a list of agents that you're talking to? It's only about half of you? Okay, so, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna share with you all the people that you're missing out on. So when I say have a list, you can't just have a few names. You, you need to have at least 100 people to talk to. Okay, so I'll give you some ideas. All of the agents at your former brokerage or brokerages, 
all of the agents that you've done deals with that you really got along with well that you would love to work with in the future. All of your title partners, your lenders, your home inspectors, folks, they know a lot of agents, don't they? So how many of you are talking to your title and lenders about sharing your vision for the future that we're getting out of this brick and mortar mo model like I did, and now we're in, a, we're in this amazing company, EXP. You need to be able to share with them your story. So how many of you are talking to your lenders and your title folks? A few of you. I have an amazing title partner who is getting her license in September to become an agent attractor. Okay, she's getting out of the title business to grow her team. It's, it's very exciting. Um, how many people are involved in BNI groups or lead share groups? Anybody out there? So they know that you're a great agent. Do they know that you're looking to build a team throughout, throughout not just your state, but nationwide and literally worldwide? So, uh, so let them know, share, share with them your vision for what your business will look like, okay? And they're, I'm telling you, when you ask the question, they're very eager to help you grow your business. So having, um, having that list, is critical. Um, how about your, your sphere of influence? How many of you have friends? Like really good friends? A few of you? Do you guys need to get up and, and move around a little bit? So, uh, so do your friends know? They know you're a great agent. Do they know that you're looking to build a team? So, you know, I, I'm looking to grow a team of agents throughout the country, and I, I would love your help. Who do you know that would be a great fit for this model, for this, this wonderful company called EXP? You remember, folks, this is the fastest growing company in real estate in the history of our industry. It's amazing. And, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to join this, this incredible company. Um, the next is probably the hardest. It's that 800-pound phone that you have. It's, it's about picking up the phone and making a contact, okay? So what I do is I, I get on the phone. I, you know, I talk to more than two people a day, trust me. Um, and it's really easy. I reach out to them. I say, hey, Jeremy, been thinking about you. Would love to get together and catch up. Would you be available for coffee sometime next week? I'm available Tuesday or Wednesday, Okay, now you know what the, the success rate of that question is, whether it's a text or a phone call? Anybody want to take a guess? How much? 10%? More, more, more. 100%, okay? Because, you know, who doesn't want to have a cup of coffee with, with somebody in the business, folks? It's 100%. You've got to believe that. So I ask the question. You know, would you be available to meet for coffee? I'd love to catch up. I have 100% success at that, and you guys can too. Before you meet with them, I want you to do some research. Look at their, um, their social media pages, if you haven't spoken to them in a while. Uh, find out if they've been traveling. Um, look at, look about, look at uh, what their kids are doing. Um, that way you have a little bit of background when you meet with them. You also want to look them up on homes.com. You guys you all use homes.com? Yeah, so you can see their production. Um, you know, you want to know where are they um, so far this year and over the last couple of years. Look at their production level. When, when I meet with agents, which is the, which is the, next, um, the next step is the meeting, I am a big believer, not just for um, prospecting for business, but also for attracting agents, that you use the Ford or the Forge technique. So the Ford is the family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. Because what do people love talking about? Their families, their work, what they're doing for fun, and maybe when the setting's appropriate, where do you want to be in the next five or 10 years? So with agents, what I do is I, I start with the first three, fam, how's your family doing? If, if I know they're family people and they love their family, not everybody does, um, so, uh, but they love their family, they have kids, they want to talk about their kids. How is your business going this year? What can I do to help you? What would inspire you to sell more homes? And then what are you guys doing? What, what are you doing for fun this summer? Or what, what are your plans in the fall? Um, and so what I do is I open the door by building that rapport and getting them to talk. It's like going on a listing appointment. If you're doing all the talking, the seller's not listening after about 90 seconds. So what you, what you want to do is ask questions. How's your family? How's the business? I don't bring up EXP. Guess who does? They do. they do. Thank you. They do. Somebody's paying attention. Good. So uh, uh, they do. And so when they bring up EXP, 
I'm ready because now the gate's starting to open. They're showing interest. So what I do is I'm prepared. I have knowledge about this company. You guys have heard a lot of the great things about eXp. And, um, and that knowledge fuels my passion and my enthusiasm. So when, when I start talking about the company, I don't tell them everything. I'll tell you what, folks, what I do use almost every single time I meet with somebody is this little clipboard. Can you all see that? And how many of you use the Gene Frederick napkin presentation? So two people? <laughs> so write that down. If you don't write anything else down, write down Gene Frederick napkin presentation. I use it on this little clipboard pretty much every time I meet with somebody. I met with somebody last week, hadn't talked to her in months. Um, we met for coffee. Um, I'm asking about her business. I realized she had gone to Weikert, which she hated. God bless Weikert. And she was also with another brokerage. And so she was in two different states. What does that mean? Well, she's probably paying two different caps, right? And has branding in two different, with two different um, uh, brands. So I asked her about her business and her family. I'm out of time. Can I come back tomorrow? So, uh, so I, um, I started going through Jean's presentation. And by the middle of page two, you know what she said? What do I need to do to join you? Okay, because my knowledge that I've learned just in the last seven months that each one of you can do in the same amount of time that I have, that enthusiasm, she could see it, okay? And so she joined us uh, just a couple of days ago. She's amazing. Um, and we're going to talk to her broker in Maryland and see if we can get um, Dave and Gene and, and um, some other people to be involved in that. Um, I'm going to give you just the next four, because I know we have a lot of other speakers, and I want to hear from them as well. Um, you need to be an expert in this business, folks. You need to be on social media. You need to be doing videos, selling the lifestyle of your community, because other agents that you may recruit or attract one day, they're watching you, okay? And if you're not already established in your marketplace, anybody can do that. I can see this guy named Jeremy over here, out of the corner of my eye, selling Annapolis. And he's got to be out saying, you know what, this is why you come to Annapolis. We've got boats, we have Ego Alley, we have these great restaurants and bars, we've got live music. So tell your story, folks. Don't be a, a wallflower. Um, Charlotte Bonini, a, an amazing commercial agent in Virginia, she's right in the back there, she put on a mastermind seminar um, last month. It was a great event. We had a CPA, we had a tax advisor, we had a social media expert, we had uh, a motivational speaker, and uh, we got a lender and a title company to sponsor it, so it wasn't a lot of out-of-pocket for Charlotte. And we're gonna do that quarterly where we invite all of our friends in the, in the marketplace. And, um, and it's, 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 a great, it's a great event. We're not, we're not bringing up EXP. Two more tips. Uh, having lunch and learns, doing the EXP model explained. Now, I'm, I haven't started yet. My sponsor, Christiana, is gonna start uh, doing those with me hopefully in September. And I'm really looking forward to that. So if you want to look at a great video, you heard Brent Gove earlier today. He's got a great video on YouTube about the model explained. And then the last tip, this is number 10 if you're keeping notes. Um, another person that I've met um, uh, virtually, thanks to Dave and the Fire Fridays, is a guy named Noli Williams, right? And so if you don't know about Noli and his story, it's amazing. You know, I'll, I'll start crying if I think about it. Um, but he says the fortune is in the follow-up. So I have two lists of, of agents that I want to bring on board. Probably 200 agents are now on my list. And, um, and you know, not everybody's ready to move. I wasn't ready for about a year to join EXP. But when they're ready, you're ready for them, and you've got to follow up with them. Stay in touch. I'm telling you, folks, there's, there are so many agents out in our marketplace right now that need our help. And, you know, as we say, some are swimming towards us because they know our story. Some are treading in water, and we need to throw out that, that life preserver. And then there's others that we just don't want. They're swimming away. They don't know our story yet. So I'm, I would love to hear your story, um, uh, and I'm looking forward to the next speaker. So uh, thank you. I'm honored to be here. Thanks again.